Hey guys, this is Gaston from Connecting Tennis. How are you? Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you everybody for all the messages and, and the, the feedback that I've been receiving for the last video that I posted, the, the serve with slice. A lot of people are reaching out and telling me how the slice uh, changed the, the way they were playing, changed their strategy, okay, taking the players out of the court, and then being able to attack to their side and going to the same side. So very good with that. I'm very happy that, that it's helping all of you guys. But today what we're gonna focus it's it's what I've been seeing that people is calling the motor forehand, okay? How the, the forehand shift from what it was this kind of grip, okay? Just pushing the ball forward to a more okay close grip here with the tip of the racket, okay? Something that we probably started with see maybe eight to ten years ago with Nadal playing in, in clay court, okay, when he showed up and he appeared with that new forehand of clay playing really high with a lot of spin, okay, a lot of uh, revolution in the ball playing really deep and pushing the player out of the court okay pushing it back so it was very very hard until other players find that way to come into the court and be able to attack that ball that push which is so okay uh, so hard back and you can okay get in up there because it has too much revolution on it that that it's it's, it's getting hard you know to, to attack it and get in so what I'm gonna show you today it's in very simple steps how you could adapt it how you could get that, that shot in your game it doesn't matter your your age or your level i'm going to show you just a simple way okay with a couple of steps on how to place the legs how to place okay your shoulders and the rotation of your hips so you're going to be able to show it okay so the first thing that you have to know okay imagine we're here in the line okay parallel to, to the other guy or the person you're playing okay so the first thing never have your toes okay like this facing the net your toes always have to be 45 degrees so why did I say this when the ball is coming the first thing that you tend to do okay is you can go either close stance okay or either open stance so what I mean with that is even if you go a close stance you can have okay your body like this with your toes facing there and if you go open stance you can have your feet okay with your toes pointing there if you go close stance your feet okay has to be kind of there like open 45 degrees and if you go open stance the first thing you do is you shift okay you rotate in this okay in your legs and you kind of shift like this so the first thing you have to do imagine always okay that we have the ball coming uh, coming to us from here okay with the grip there the first thing you do is rotate okay rotate your legs with your hips okay your hips have to be all the, the way facing the, the side of the court your shoulders also are gonna help you and this hand okay either if you're righty or lefty the hand that you don't have the racket is very important okay because you're gonna push the rocket back and it's gonna help you to rotate your hips as you can see here and your shoulders, okay, to go all the way. If you're doing it wrong, you're gonna feel it because this leg is gonna block you here from rotating, you see? I have my foot, my toes pointing to the net, so it's not allowing me to rotate. That's why we rotate on your toes, okay? You're always on your toes playing, you rotate over them and this helps you, okay, to open your hip all the way. So again, first thing, you do this is split, split step you rotate on your toes okay you rotate your hips here the racket with this hand you take it back okay this is gonna allow you okay to take the racket just like if you were trying to reach something behind and from here okay from this position you're gonna charge all the weight in this leg this is the key here okay what is gonna help you to then come up and do that hard spin so the ball goes really heavy and deep so from here what we do okay we get again here the racket starts to go down as you can see and now the tip of the racket is facing forward there are a lot of videos that i've seen of people saying why it's bad uh, to have the tip of the racket pointing forward okay again this is the modern way of playing this is what it's gonna give you and allow you to drop the racket over here okay and then charge with the spin so i'm gonna do the movement okay all entire without any stop in very slow motion so you guys can see how this looks so from here we do a split step we rotate all the way okay we bring the tip of the racket as you can see some people like to have the racket like this okay totally flat some people open it a little i come from a background of clay court okay so i like not to have it there okay to then hit a little flat there but i like to have it more pointing like this because this is going to allow me to get the ball even more in front of me and pull more with the spin at the end so again a split we rotate all the way okay drop the tip of the racket and now you can see that from your hips rotating here the rotation start to come and you see the shoulder coming here okay coming forward and hitting the ball all the way in front of you 
of course this arm you're not gonna have it here it's because I'm showing you so okay here rotate the tip of the racket rotates in front and then you finish okay this is gonna allow you to do what when you come here and you hit you hit the ball then you face in again same thing that when you hit close stance you hit here if you stay here look how you're crossing on the court then what you have to do to run to the other side do a step back okay that's wrong this is what is gonna help you close stance hit and fall so now you're facing again you're ready to recover to the other side okay now in the open stand you go in here you hit in front okay and you rotate this is gonna what allow you to come from under the ball push the ball fast okay with a lot of spin deep so the other player is not allowed to come in and to attack that ball okay and remember legs coming from under and spinning I'm gonna show you now in a slow motion a couple of shots okay so you can see how I hit the ball the point of impact has to be really in front and here is where the wrist makes all the work okay and push the finishing forward let's see how it looks Okay, so there you guys could see in a fast motion, in slow motion, how when the ball is coming, I do this split, okay, I open here my leg, okay, I do the open stand, take the racket back, and then as you can see when I'm hitting the ball in the slow motion especially, you can see that I shift here and my older, okay, my shoulder is all the way in the front and finishing. Okay guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have the time to, to watch it, okay? To analyze what I'm talking, uh, what I'm trying to, to teach you here with, the, with this forehand. Make sure you practice it, okay? This is something that it takes time. It takes a lot of repetition. So if you have, a, I don't know, a ball machine or, or you do privates uh, or classes with a coach or you have people uh, that can help you fit in balls, okay? Hit hundreds and hundreds of balls. You can do even this movement here, okay, when you're when you're at home or before getting into, into the court to play, okay? Practice this here so it becomes something natural for you. Um, here in this rotation, we're using something that, that we have another video talking about the, the core workout, okay? This having a, a, a strength core, okay? It's what is gonna give you the stability, okay? And the, the ability to rotate, okay? When you hit the forehand and like you're not, you use a lot of okay of the power here of the core when you do the rotation and it's gonna allow you to stay in position today full and be ready for the next shot. Okay, so if you happen to be watching on, on YouTube, please, uh, and you like the material and all the things you're enjoying uh, just like I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, okay? Keep, uh, keep up with the videos. Remember we have uh, uh, the website connectingtennis.com that you can go, all the social medias, uh, where I try to post uh, daily tips, especially on Instagram, where you can see things from, from professional players uh, that they share their, their daily trainings, and I put it there for you guys. So thank you, and see you next time.